So, starting this episode off a little differently um, with a bit of warning. Uh, this episode is all talking and no building. Uh, no progress is made during this episode whatsoever with the colony. So, if you're here for the progress of the build, this one's not for you, I'm afraid. Very sorry. Um, uh, however, those who do want to stick around, I do value your opinion a lot, and I would very much like to hear what you have to say about the things that I ask, because there's many things I'm a bit indecisive about, and I would very much like your input on them. So please stick around for that and leave your comments below. Um, and for those of you who are just here to see the game progress, you can skip this, skip this episode, and um, I'll see you in the next one. Good evening, and welcome back to... To Timberborn, where we are still waiting for loads of explosives to do the things we want to do. It's a bit awkward. I've tried exploding this over here as well. This needs more added to it. Um, just gonna take a bit of time. That's what it is. Just gonna take a bit of time. Oh, I need to uh, actually run a to here, don't I? Can't get access to the ones over there. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, so. That's going to do its thing there. That's going to be fine there. Um, I have put in all of the bad water pumps here because we have drained this out here. This is all done now. Yep. Um, uh, I'm not sure whether I should raise these up to be normal height. Do you reckon we should? Um, uh, we, we can we can delete them using the map editor, get in the ground underneath them uh, with dirt, let the beavers fill in and then put them back in again. Do 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 we do we think we should do that? I'm I'm not I'm not sure. Should we leave them lower? Um, let me know what you think. Whether we should do that or not, we need to get into that. But we're gonna we're gonna um start grabbing the scrap in here first. So uh, let's do that right now. Let's do do, do that. Probably have to do something like this over here get access to the scrap over there once that's done there uh, put that there um not much space here not much space here that's okay they'll work on it they'll work on it let's get ourselves three scavenging, scavenging flags in there they'll work on that yeah, they'll grab all the scrap there that's fine it's going to go all the way over to here and come over it's, it's a bit awkward here I um, also put in two storages for um, the bad water here, and they are both set to supply, so they're going to feed the rest of the world. That's fine. Um, and then uh, I've removed the platforms in between here, and uh, I now get it. Some people a few episodes ago, many episodes ago, um, in the comments, and I forgot who it was. Um, I did have a quick look to see, but I can't remember. Um, mentioned, mentioned that instead of... They were saying I could use overhangs um, uh, to... And, and I didn't understand what they meant i was like but i don't need overhangs it's working fine i get it now i understand it now i'm looking at this um it, it, we've done it here as well but um i can't really see it because it's hidden away um, but now i'm looking at this i realized that what you meant was instead of having all these pillars we could have this pillar here skip that one and have that one because you can use overhangs to uh reach um oh that one there but like that uh, to reach between them so we could put an overhang in on top of this pillar put the platform on top of this one put the platform on top of the other end of the overhang and then do this pillar so you skip every other pillar out which means it's, it's got less which means you've got more ground to work with underneath it yes yes i agree with that i agree with that um i'm not going to change the aqueduct we have here and also this one i'm not going to change as well this one going all the way along is going to have all the supports supporting everyone there however the little offshoots of aqueducts that come along we will will probably do that and um, come off them um and we'll do every other one which just would make more sense so yeah yeah i think i think that'll work um because gotta remember this is going to have levees not just this height it's going to have levees all the way up to this height here so this is going to be a giant a giant um reservoir on top of here so um uh i want all the supports underneath it you don't need supports underneath it it does not how the game works but i think it will look better having the giant reservoir having all those supports underneath it so yeah i think that'll work that'll work better there 
Um, when it comes to the little offshoot things as well, I was trying to figure out what we're going to do. Because obviously, this is going to be reservoir, and then we need the um, little channels coming off which fill up the hole. So there's going to be a one there, there's going to be one there, there's going to be one there, and then we come down, there's one there, and one here, and one here, and one there. So as well. Obviously, the output for that's going to be at the bottom, which is why I haven't filled this levee, haven't built the big walls, because I'm not sure where they're going to be. Um, we're going to replace one of these levees with a, um, a sluice to allow it to fill a three wide um, little aqueduct of its own, which will come along. And what they'll do is, I originally was going to put them to the side and have them pour out the side, but I've had a better idea. They will come directly from here. So this this levee, which this there will be a levee here, or there'll be a sluice here, which will go right into a output, which will pour along. And when we get on top of this one here, what we'll do is we will build uh, a sluice inside here. To let the water pour down the center. And I'm just thinking that's not going to work. That's not going to work because it's only three wide. We only have a three wide gap. We've got um, a five wide metal, metal plate like this. The water's only going to be three wide on it. Um, in fact, it's going to be directly above that anyway. Um, yeah, the water's only going to be three wide. So we put in, um, let me let me pause there a moment here. So, so we put in that there. Obviously, it would have the levees down either side like that. Um, and then my brain was saying, we'll do that and then put a sluice in like that and allow the sluice to read the water below it. However, there's two problems to that. One, the sluice cannot, uh, well, actually, it can read the ground underneath it, so that's fine. That would work, so it would let the pour the water out. But then the water can't get past these to go along. So, yeah. We could do this sort of thing. Tap it and um, let the water flow by. Make it too deep. I just kind of want the um, the little aqueduct that's going to fill the um, ponds to be above, directly above it, and it just pours out from the centre down, rather than pouring off the edge. The pouring off the edge is easier, so we just move this over, um, over to here. And then just have to pour out the edge into this here. So that, that's the easy way to do it. But that will work. That will work because the sluice will um, uh, seal up if the water below is um, too high. And then the water will just back up along here and we'll just pour over the top of these and out. So we could do that. That would work. I could also put four sluices in. That would also work. Um, So it lets water in from like every side. So um, I think I don't I don't think a sluice lets water in sideways, does it? I don't think a sluice lets water go in sideways from it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how they work. I don't know if they work the same as um. Uh, hammers and stuff. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So if I was to put a sluice, say for instance, um, that way. I know it's got an arrow on it, but does it block the water? Sideways? I mean, it looks like it should do, so I assume it would do. So if I put in a load of sluices uh, like this, oh, I can't put it like that, but if, if I put in sluices like that, it would block the water coming through. That would make sense, so the water can only travel one way through the sluice. It can't, also, the water can't travel back through a sluice. So, <clears throat> so that would be doing that plan there. I don't know, I don't know, but that's, that's, that's conundrum number one I was trying to figure out. Um, how I want to do this here, and I'm not sure which way now I want to do that. Um, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I'm not quite sure. Maybe we'll just go over the top and just have it too deep and let it do its thing. That wouldn't be a terrible thing, to be honest with you. We just have to make the uh, sluices be one higher. I don't like that idea. I don't like that idea. I don't know. Um, Oh, alternatively, we could uh, still do that plan. Still do the um, uh, so we got the uh, like that. Um, 
and uh, we'd have a hole in the center. We just sluice feed in the hole in the center, um, and then what we do is just do that, and have sluices that side, and just change these two to be higher, so the water can still flow through, but they can't flow sideways into the hole. That would work. That would work. Um, and then maybe put a levee that side just to stop it doing that. So yeah, so the water can still flow directly through. It can't flow backwards. That's fine. We're not fussed about it flowing backwards. Um, do that, and then it only has to be one one deep. And the entrance way, the entrance sluices only let it fill it to one deep, so it never gets any further than that. So yeah, that work. I think that'd work. We might try that. We might try that. I don't know. Um, we also put another solution on the end just to make it there. I think I think that's that's probably going to be the way to do it because then the water can still flow through. That'll be fine. Okay, conundrum, conundrum number one. Maybe so. Maybe solved. Maybe solved. I'm saying all this because obviously I, I'd like your input. I'd like your input. Tell me, tell me what you think. Whether you think it's a good idea, or it's a better idea, whatever. That. Um, the next thing um, uh, I want to want to go. It's going to be a lot of talking. I'm sorry. Um, uh, Luke, uh, Luke mentioned um, in the comments of the previous episode about a, um, a double decker power walled aqueduct where we have the water come along, um, goes down. Well, I, I think the way he was thinking was that um, you have like one, one of these feeds one of the, one set of wheels, another one goes up and feeds another set of wheels. Then my brain said, we could build around this all the way up to the height limit, to the map height limit, all the way up to the top come out to an aqueduct all the way up there in the sky with wheels on top of it come along go down catch the water low enough for um to have space five five space here and then come back and go down and, fit, and then come back again and and yeah we we could we could do that especially using that trick where you've got every other post you'd have to spread the wheels out a little bit more um but that's not a problem you spread the wheels out just a little bit more um so uh that's fine and then you just do like you put a gap in between each wheel and you have the posts in between each one of those so the uh, the wheels uh, would end up being on well at the moment they're four apart from each other so you can't put them in between each other there but if we do every other post you could because you could put a power wheel like here and here you get two in i think one two three four five six seven eight nine and they are one two three four five no you couldn't get two in but you you could you basically have this water system go along come down capture the leaf come back come down capture the leaf come back and, and, and go back and forth, all the way down to bedrock and then profit map and i really want to build that not in this playthrough but i really want to build that <laughs> it just seems like a really awesome thing to try and build and and yes i really want to do that i really do want to give that a try so yeah um uh, our canal has also um balanced out now uh i think um uh, as mr stone pointed out it, it was probably the amount of bad water that was coming in couldn't get down here quick enough which is why it blocked up and started overflowing it just couldn't flow quick enough down the run but as soon as it managed to get out of the end and it could do it it would it would then back up so if i had just left it it would have worked but turning one off waiting a bit turning back on again balanced it out anyway so that's fine that, that it works it works that's absolutely fine. Um, uh, uh, sorry, that was Yaslov. Uh, Yaslov. Um, hopefully I'm pronouncing your name right there. Uh, send it right there. Um, and Alex, uh, also in the comments, mentioned um, uh, you can put levees on top of platforms. So you can put a uh, like a, a lid on top of an aqueduct, which increases the water pressure inside, making it flow faster. Yes, absolutely. However, for this case, um, we're not filling it up, so even if I put a lid on top of it, it wouldn't go any faster because we're not filling it up. If it was filling and overflowing, like it was doing enough bad water to produce uh, more than two height and we was overflowing here, I could put a cap on top and force the water down, and it will come out the end at higher speed, and you could hit wheels and make it go faster. The problem to that is that you'd have to only have to have like one wheel on the end. That's the only way it would kind of work that way. So, yeah. But, um, but you can do that. You can cap the water. So, so if we needed to get rid of this stuff and only wanted it to be one one deep, you could cap a, um, an aqueduct, an aqueduct and it would just pour the water at the end. We wouldn't shoot at the end. It would still pour down, but it would be full. You know. So you can do that. You can do that. Okay, let's go on to the building. Sorry, loads of talking. That's about half the episode of talking. I do apologize. Try not to do that, but, 
but there was there was a lot there was lots of so so what do you think about uh, the aqueduct outside there um i kind of like the idea of doing the three with the three sluices inside it to let the water flow through so yeah um, massive sluices do stop water flowing sideways i think they do we'll test it we'll find out later the next issue conundrum slash thing to do is to build the industry i want to move our industry over to here have the power come down uh, i think i'm just going to run uh power shafts along for the time being um, and then we'll put the batteries in until later date now i've got a couple of different ways i want to do this and i'm not sure which one you think would look the best so that's the thing that's the thing what do we do what do we do so the plan the plan that i have so i want to put in obviously some explosive factories yep we can put them here extend the power out a little bit and run power down the back of them and plug them into the back of them no problem but then we've got three wide gap along the edge of the map that we'll never use which just looks bad it just looks bad we could move these back here and conveniently if we put them back here there is a one gap between them and the aqueduct which means the power could run straight down into the front of some of the buildings beautiful i like that plan i like that plan so that's kind of what I want to go with for the, the all the in industry buildings to be right on the back here. There'd be the odd one where they'd have they'll have um spaces behind them because some buildings are only three deep rather than four deep, but that's fine. So we'll do that. We'll run the buildings along like this. Blum, 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 and uh, every now and then if we need to do something with like there's gonna be a power power lines that have to come down at every point as well. They can only have to come down every so often. But the more I have, the more redundancy we have for when I disconnect things to put the batteries in. Um, we can flip buildings to change their entrances so we don't have to worry about spacing and stuff, that's fine. However, storage. Storage is a thing. How do we store the goods? So, for instance, explosives need to be stored inside a warehouse. There is enough space in front of it to do this here. Let me pause the game a moment so I can put these buildings down and you can physically see what I'm doing. So, um, let's say we put in three explosive factories because we need lots of explosives. Um, you can see there, um, the doorways are... Uh, there there and there which means this power line can come straight down into that slot right there but and power all three of these buildings awesome excellent fantastic this one will never do it but that's fine um so the power line will come down here and that would work beautifully well but storage are three wide most storage is three wide so if i want to put a storage like there on top of that if i run the the, the road down between them um down on the front of them which i can't do because the power line is going to come down so we'd have to leave at least two gap we put storages here but i can only get one in every go which is kind of awkward um the alternate would be to put the storages here but underground like blow up um too deep i put the storage underground and maybe face them sort of like that way or that way or something and then have the roads come along and connect to this road. This will be the main road. The roads will come up and connect to this road and this road. Obviously, this one will be... Sort of, um, under here will be a storage. And then here, there'll be an underground ladder going down to the storage. I don't want to put the storages directly under the buildings because, again, power's going to come down. Storages are three wide. At some point, we're going to have the entrance to a, um, a storage uh, be lined up with a power line. We could skip that power line at that point. That's not a major problem, but yeah um but if we did that and put the storage underneath here we then have a wooden um source uh for them to walk across it would be a wooden top for them to walk across because it would be full of storages whether it would be the uh the large storages or whether it be the industrial storages um whatever doesn't matter we'd have a wooden storage on top of them and in these gaps here we could put in decorations of things you know put in a couple of uh, like bridges or um uh, beaver statues or a clock or something every now and then like we do like a clock here and then we do another clock here and another clock there and then we do bridges and and we could then when beavers are coming to work in the industry they could get bonuses we could fill the area up it's not a major problem to do um we could alternatively put the storages the opposite side just ignoring this first one and just do the storage of the opposite side there but i kind of like the idea of doing it this way because it also gives us opportunity to put more industrial buildings on the other side and we could run power to them somehow i'm sure we could figure it out um if we needed to 
but like I've got three explosive factories, something we need more explosive factories. I could put more over there. That's fine. Um, I think all of our industrial buildings are going to be on this side over here um, or near the aqueduct at least anyway. So that'll be fine there. Um, so even things like the uh, the food, all the food stuff is going to be over here, which means all the food's going to have to be shipped over to here, processed and shipped out to wherever our beavers are going to live. I'm not sure where that's going to be. Um, yeah, we could run power lines around as well. There's no reason why we can't run power lines about and put them like under the ground and run a power line down with a road on top of it that's a valid option that could still be done um but i think we're going to have like the explosive metal working especially down here so everything that uses bad water um extract and metal will definitely be right here in this area here um but we could run power elsewhere for buildings that need um stuff going to say and like the industry so like um industrial buildings like but food ones we could run a power line just up through the map and it would not be complicated to do but what do you think of this here should i put the storages under the ground in front of them should i put the storages under the ground underneath them um and uh just do it that way so like we put the storages the actual storages would be underground there with the entrance facing forwards um so storage would be underground here which means this this block here would have a ladder going underground two storages we could do that um we'd have to then run a road sort of along maybe on here and which leaves only one gap above that we could move this road this road doesn't have to necessarily be here so it's not a major problem um or do i just put the storages um the other side of the road and have the industry this side of the road and just put the industry there and have a gap down about the layout what what do you think which which one do you think would look the best and i will kind of figure out. i haven't i haven't got a preference either way for this here to be honest with you i haven't got an idea of which way around i want to do it at all so um i don't know i don't know um uh, we could put the storages on that side of the road as well and just have them like that that would work fine as well and then just have the industry this side of the road that'd be fine we could also have the industry turn 90 degrees um so instead of running that way i could have the industry run that way and along um and then just every now and then leave a gap like that uh between and the power comes down and plugs into the back of the buildings so that would give us more can't do it with the explosive factories there because obviously we've got this here but we could put centrifuges in there but we could do um like one two or three that's not so bad we could get a road around the back of them that would work that would work um and then like do something like that and the power comes down there and plugs into the back between the two and that's fine fortunately power can't plug into the top of the buildings which is kind of awkward it can go in the bottom of the buildings but not the top um so yeah um so that's that we could do that that's an alternative run the power down like that and then have storage the other side of it we could also do this and have storages underneath them and just have the right the um the paths here uh have things in there and then in between them we put down the power i'm leaning towards that one right now i'm leaning towards that one uh obviously it won't work with the centrifuges because they um uh, well they, they, the centrifuges would have to face that way anyway like that um and uh they require liquid storage which we can't do underground <laughs> i'm sure i could I'm sure I could figure out. I don't have enough space to. We can only go down three deep here. If we could have four deep, we could do it because we could put a liquid one in, put some platforms behind, put some things over the top of it, and then put them on top, and we could technically have the liquid storage underground. But that's not a terrible thing anyway for this one here because we could not do the centrifuges there and have them like down here with tanks the other side of the road, and then the storages would be the other side of the road. Or under actually, the storages would be underground. Tanks could be the other side of the road. We only need we only need like one or two of these light tanks over these large tanks over here anyway. Um 
Um, and I don't know how many centrifuges we're going to need. Uh, but yeah, so we do. That's, that's the front. So we do like two there, and then we do like two there. The power would come down. Um, and, uh, plug into the back that way. There. It's a, it's a bit of a gap in between. We can still put bonuses and stuff in between here uh, because we can just put them up on top of platforms and things above. That could work. We could do that sort of thing there. Um, scrap metal needs to be down this end as well somewhere because uh, it's super scrap. Although scrap's going to come from here and here. So as long as it's somewhere close by, it could be this side of the road as well. And there's no reason why we can't go down and run the power lines across, as I said, um, to the other side of the road. That's not going to be too complicated to do. Um, build a power line, come down. Um, oh, it is going to be complicated to do. I'm sure I could figure it out. We could come out the other side as well. We have the option to come out the other side if we want to. Kind of want to run all the power lines around the back and out the way, though. Uh, or alternatively, we could come down with the power and then run underground. Although I can't go under here because I can't destroy these now. So... Um, What what do you think? What do you think? Which way round should we be doing things here? So I I kind of like the idea of doing this and having the storages underground, um, like underneath these, so we'd have uh, a large warehouse underground there, and we could even do one underground. Oh yeah, there like that. We could do that, and we still have we have this edge of the road here, which we could just put a road on which allows our beavers to walk along the edge here as well. Um, and then I suppose we could put in a, uh, a tank here for the extract. We might want more than one tank of extract, but... Yeah, maybe. Like that. And then the next one could be metal over here. And then the metal just comes along and gets stored over here. The, the, the distance doesn't really matter because we're going to get bots at some point, which will probably be a bit further along. Um, and we're going to have the bots be the haulers. So at night times, the bots will be filling up all the storages and moving things around. And during the day, the beavers will be processing things. And we'll make sure we have storages nearby all the sources. So there's like storages here for the, um, the bad water. We'll have scrap nearby the um, ones here, which they fill up and then the... Um, bots will come along and just empty storages to the industry areas. So I'm definitely leaning towards that one there. I don't know what we'll put on the end here. Um, nothing can fit there that's in industry wise for metal or something. So um, see, I could put two centrifuges down there. Although getting power to them is 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 not possible because uh, the power can't come out the back here. So, yeah, yeah. And we, we can also, also, another thing as well, um, we can, uh, this this whole episode has been a talking episode, I apologise, I really do apologise, I know, I know, but um, what we could do is we could, I could destroy this and the platform underneath it, put in a overhang like this, run the power along the overhang, and then down the back, it ends up on the back line here, um, I know we've got a road along the back line here, so I, I, I get one to do that, but maybe we could do that there, and, uh, or maybe I could just ignore this end piece here. Not worry about it. It's not like we don't have enough land. You know, the whole world's not going to be full of stuff. I'm trying to squeeze all the industry into one area here. Um, and, and I really feel like what I should have done was what I originally planned to do and not put the aqueduct at the end of these, but move the aqueduct over to here. So it was actually here, kind of level with this, which would have been a little awkward for our... Thing to come out because obviously the aqueducts from our main aqueduct would come out to here but they're underneath it this would flow above it and if i'd done that um we'd have even more space over here to put even more things in but i didn't we could move the aqueduct that's also a choice we could do we could move the aqueduct we could we could build a giant thing race it up to the roof and then do the zigzag back and forth thing and then do that with the power wheels going and, and, and oh Oh, I'm talking myself into doing that. Let me know what you think. What should we do? How should we do it? Which way should we do it? And I will do it next episode. Nothing has been built this episode. Nothing has been done. I know it's a talking episode. I apologize. People don't like them. I know. But I uh, want to get your opinions on things. So 
that's why I'm asking um, which way around do you want things to go? Because I don't want to start building things what I've done before, where I build things and then people go, no, that's not the way you do it. It's horrible, do it this way. That would have been, and I'm like, oh yeah, that would have made so much more sense. But, but um, um, yeah. So what do you think? Let me know. We'll figure it out next time. Thank you very much for watching. Apologies all the talking, no building, dead episode. Ah. Until next time, where we will absolutely 100% build things, providing you leave me some comments and let me know what's going on, please. Until then, as always, have fun.